Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. To, to speak well, what must one do? There are so many things you have to do for you to speak well. Um, first off, uh, you must have the confidence to want to speak. You must see yourself as a confident speaker because it is what you see that you will get. All right? So first off, you need to understand that the best speakers were not born. They are made, right? And how are they made? By listening to others, watching others speak, asking questions, learning from the masters, self-developing yourself, and of course, um, trying to emulate those who know how to speak. And you must have the ability to read, the desire to read, and to um, emulate those who speak well. There are so many things you have to do you must self-develop, very important. Uh, you must have that voracious, you know, appetite to want to read, to want to know a lot of things. Because the devil is in the details, as they say. In the pages of books, in, yeah, in the kind of things you read, as a matter of fact, you must read everything and must try to be the best, you know, uh, at what you do. Yeah. And of course, you learn along the way, make your mistakes, right? And there's nothing wrong in making your mistakes, right? Make your mistakes, have the butterflies in your stomach. Um, you might be nervous, at least for the first time, but because you are um, confident and committed to being uh, becoming a good speaker, um, uh, you, would, you would get there. Now, to pronounce words you know, correctly, what must one do? What is the best way to go about that? So you find out that oftentimes people get to mispronounce certain words. If one wants to um, excuse himself or herself from that class or category of those who pronounce words wrongly, what should or must the person do? First, yeah, first you must make a conscious effort to want to learn. Yeah, you must make conscious effort to want to learn. Um, you must go to find a way. Um, to go through um, uh, the language lab to be taught how to speak, pronunciation, um, elocution. Uh, you must also speak just like an educated African. You know, one of the worst things that could happen to a speaker is to want to fake, want to speak like an American when you are an African, right? So if you speak like, you can never speak like an American because... You are not an American, you're an African. You went to school, you're educated. So you have to speak as such. Um, in my place of work, for example, um, we, we, we teach, I mean, in uh, Channels Academy, uh, where I happen to be the head, uh, we, we have a language laboratory, you know, where people are taking through, you know, um, um, phonetics and speaking, and of course, learning from the masters. Uh, we have someone like um, Bimbo Oloyede, who, who is also um, a, a teacher or a trainer in, in phonetics and um, right speaking, uh, public speaking, and all of that. So you have to make that conscious effort to want to learn. And then, of course, with experience, you, you, you get better. As I said earlier on, yeah, be yourself, sound natural. You must sound natural. Um, you must strive to pronounce the word well so that everybody can hear you clearly. And that's why when, when uh, somebody from the UK, London, for example, um, the thoroughly British um, speaks, you can hear almost everything. You know, you can speak that way, but remember, you are an African first. So when you speak, we should hear you very clearly. And for those who are in the broadcast industry becomes even more important that you you speak well yeah so that's that's what i think should be you know uh, what to do